restaurant Hakuna Matata, which is a very popular quick service restaurant here at Disneyland Paris, has just had a new menu and I'm going to go and test it out. So come along. Restaurant Akuna Matata is an African themed restaurant here in Adventureland at Disneyland Paris and of course it is based on the famous Akuna Matata saying from The Lion King and whilst it's never been my personal favourite it's definitely a fan favourite the Disneyland Paris fans especially seem to really enjoy Akuna Matata especially the UK ones I've noticed so you watching right now you may have already visited Akuna Matata before and you might be interested in seeing what this new menu is like I'm personally very excited about this new menu so let's have a look at the new menu we are going to have a look at it properly once we go inside but here are the photos that they are displaying outside of the restaurant and the menu changed literally today as I'm filming this the 21st of February 2023 normally prior to the menu change the kebab wrap used to be what I would get from a Hakuna Matata restaurant but everything else on the menu is gone now the chicken nuggets are gone which again I personally am quite happy about because I felt like chicken nuggets in an African themed restaurant very bland very basic and I tried those nuggets as well they really weren't that good they were like chicken strips but they really didn't taste anything special they didn't have any flavor to them I don't know there's so many other places in Disneyland Paris that sells nuggets so I'm glad that they're off the menu now and we have something else to replace them with that being said I'm gonna head inside the restaurant there you go that's the entrance Akuna Matata it's been a while actually since I've been inside it because as I said this restaurant is not my favorite at all in terms of quick service restaurants so I'm excited to see if my opinion will change so there you go it's actually quite quiet at the moment because the parade is on it's a good time to come to quick service restaurants if you don't want to have to queue too long so you can see a menu three over there that's what I normally used to get and even menu three has had a slight change so instead of regular fries they are now serving sweet potato fries as a side which I think is great because again in so many other locations you can get regular fries anyway so good to have a bit of a change and then we've got menu number two over here and this one is fish with vegetables and sauce definitely interested about that one 16 euros you can get a drink with it as well and menu one it's either a chakalaka which is a vegan option and that one is tomato sweet peppers white beans and chickpeas or a yasa chicken and i believe the yasa chicken used to be around i'm not sure but it's a chicken with olives and you can get some rice with it as well 15 euros and of course one fun thing about hakuna matata restaurant is that they've got a timon section and on the right hand side they've got a pumba section so you can choose where you want to sit between these two areas personally they're both really fun places to sit at in fact the theming in this restaurant i would say is really really good i like this restaurant for the theming i've just never been really like the food I've just thought the food is quite bland considering it's meant to be an African themed restaurant like I said hopefully this will change after I try some of the new menu items today but you can see Pumbaa there behind me I think I don't know well, it just depends on which one has more seating area in terms of where we go but look even the ceiling has all this kind of jungle vibes like I said very well themed uh, restaurant quick service restaurant I just have always been disappointed in the food. The kebab's always been good. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get the kebab because I've already had it before. But I kind of want to try the sweet potato fries. We will see. I just went to order and the lovely cast member gave me the menus. And it is indeed the first day of the new menu. So there you go. I've got menu three menu one as i showed you earlier the chakalaka or you can get a yasa chicken instead which is chicken with olives and onion sauce that looks really good as well and then of course the fish option as well and then they do have a children's menu too the children's menu is nine euros and that one has a crispy chicken bite so you can get chicken nuggets still for kids don't worry if your kids are picky eaters they should still be able to get something here they also have fries here and also a little mini wrap so yeah i feel like it caters to everyone but yeah i think i'm gonna go for everything to be honest and the cast member seems to be you know very much in agreement that i should try it all so let's go for it so i'm just waiting for my food now and i thought i would show you how much i paid for it all it all came to 50 euros 50. i also got the plantains the beignet plantains which apparently is a new dessert shout out to the cast member who told me about it ludi been her name was she's amazing but um yeah all together 50 euros with my annual pass discount which not too bad considering i'm basically having three or four different meals merci merci <laughs> bonjour oh, oui. Et le gourmet. Et le gourmet. D'accord. Non. Non, non, non. Attends. Mais c'est pas possible, oh là là. Oh là là. Oh non. Je ne connais rien. Mathéo, on s'en prend. Voilà. Et voilà. En plus, Mathéo, qui s'est en train de faire des photos partout. Voilà. Voilà. Oh, wow, merci. Merci. Attendez. <rire> C'est pas joli, les ma la mayonnaise. Ah non, 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 c'est mayonnaise. Euh, non, mayonnaise, on cache. Thank you. Thank you. Voilà. <rire>
<laughs> oh, the customers are amazing. They're hiding the mayonnaise to make this look phenomenal. Merci. Thank you. So this is the kebab version here. We've got the sweet potato fries, the water. We've got a nice reusable Coke um, glass as well. The dessert with the teller. Very cool. And then we've got three more options coming. Merci. Wow, this looks really good. Good sizes as well. So I think that might be the chicken. This might be the fish and this should be the, uh, the vegan option. So there you go, this is gonna be my meal. Quite a lot to eat, so hopefully I will be able to get some help with these. I just wanna give the biggest shout out to all the cast members working at Hakuna Matata today. You saw a couple of them, they were so nice and helpful. One of them even helped bring the trays here, because it's only me, obviously, and I've got so much food in two trays. So she offered, her name was Mael. Mael was amazing, Ludivin, the, the cast member who I ordered to, was fantastic. All the other cast members working by the kitchen were so great and they really wanted me to be able to showcase this new menu to you as best as possible so we're trying to make it look as nice as possible for the vlog for you guys so yeah I mean and first impressions so far I am so happy to be here cast members are just amazing okay so I'm gonna try the kebab wrap before it's actually pulled beef if I'm not mistaken now it's no longer the kebab wrap that it was called now they're calling it yeah pulled beef it's probably gonna be something similar they've just changed the name sweet potato fries look good I've got loads of mayo as well again big shout out to the cast members you can also get ketchup or mustard if you wish to but um, yeah I've got my kebab or pulled beef wrap here and whew, Lord have all the mercy let's give this a taste test so you can see inside there's some pulled beef some kind of sauce I think this is probably just mustard maybe some ketchup it's got a little, tiny bit of spice to it not really much at all some tomatoes, um, lettuce, it's all right. I feel like, to be honest, at least with the wrap, I actually really liked the kebab wrap that they used to have, so this one's a little bit different. I don't like the meat as much as I enjoy the kebab meat, but the sauce is nice. It's nice and filling. Let's try the sweet potato fries now. Okay, the sweet potato fries are delicious, really, really nice. It's just nice that this man Paris finally has somewhere that sells sweet potato fries. I am sick of fries. I love fries, you know, obviously I love french fries just as they are. But sometimes it's just too much. So it's nice to have variety. I'm joined by the lovely Zara and Bella. And you've just tried some of the um, sweet potato fries as well. What did you think? They were really good. Are they good? Mm. I really like them as well. So tasty. Next I'm going to try the chicken, the Yasa chicken, which looks really good. I think it was something like chicken with olives and some kind of special onion sauce. It smells good, comes with rice. So yeah, they definitely changed the chicken, the yasa chicken a little bit as well. They used to have something similar to it, but it's a little bit different by the looks of it. And I think the piece they've given me is a thigh piece, which I personally love. Thighs are my favorite parts of chicken, in case you're interested. So I'm gonna try the little bit of the chicken on its own first. Okay, that's good. That is actually good, wow. I'm not sure why I'm surprised, but for a quick service restaurant, it is not Paris. The rice is just standard, but it's good. The chicken itself, yeah, the chicken is good. I definitely approve of the chicken. If anything, it's just a little bit too salty for me. I feel like they could have maybe not put as much salt on it personally, but most people love salt. I'm just one of them in my the minority who prefers not to eat uh, food that has too much salt on it. But apart from that, the chicken is delicious. The onion sauce isn't too overpowering either. So it's just a tiny hint of onion. And then the olives, if you're worried about olives, I personally quite like olives. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I do enjoy eating them from time to time. Yeah, the olive, you just kind of get a really mild flavor of them. It's not like there's like loads of olives on the dish. I wish there was, I would have made it more interesting. The next thing I'm gonna try is the fish. This is definitely a new dish. I think this was on menu too. Looks good, some kind of white fish. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I'm gonna give it a taste test. Okay, so we've got the fish here, fish with some rice and this red sauce that I'm not sure what it is yet. The red sauce is definitely like tomato based sauce. It's um, not too exciting to be honest. And you can't really taste the fish that much, at least I couldn't because there's so much um, sauce all over it. But the sauce is good. It almost feels like I'm having maybe like spaghetti bolognese just with fish and rice instead. I don't know, I'm a little bit disappointed because I was expecting the sauce to be a bit more exciting. And so far it's nice, the sauce is nice and I am enjoying it. Like I'm just happy that there's something that's a bit different to what we have in some of the other quick services. But in terms of the flavor, it's nothing too special. It's very much, like I said, a tomato flavored sauce with some white fish that doesn't have too much flavor in it. I mean, it's cooked well, it's nice, the fish. It's just, I'm not getting too much of the taste of the actual fish. The rice is good, but would I get this again? 
probably not the chicken I would definitely get again with this I feel like if I'm kind of craving something tomato I might as well just go to um, Bella Nota or Colonel Hathies and just get a pizza or a pasta there and so the last one is the vegan option which is a chakalaka it's again some rice with um, beans and a few other things in there I can't remember if you saw it on the menu earlier but I'm glad that they have a new vegan option here that doesn't actually contain any fake meat because I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of fake meat meat fake meat fake are not the biggest fans of fake meat and this one's more like natural stuff like veggies and beans and stuff so I'm gonna give this a taste test okay so I'm actually very much excited and looking forward to this new vegan option the chakalaka so it consists of tomatoes sweet peppers white beans and chickpeas apparently so there you go I've got a bit of it with some rice that is good that actually tastes a little bit unique you can actually taste some spices and the sauce is delicious the chickpeas in it really lovely the vegetables this is so weird because I definitely didn't expect to say this but I think the vegan option, the chakalaka on the new menu at Hakuna Matata might be my favourite of all the four things that I've tried so far. The chicken was also good so actually the chicken you might have seen here, I'm nearly done with the chicken. I try my best, when I do these videos I come hungry so I you know hopefully will have the space to eat as much as possible because I don't like wasting food. The chicken is basically gone, like I've eaten the most of it. And actually, as you saw Zara and Bella from Mamiya for the Disney Great YouTube channel, check them out. But yeah, they came and joined me and they tried some of the sweet potato fries as well. So I'm kind of sharing some of the food and they've just gone to get some more food for themselves as well. So the chicken was fantastic. I would get it again. That's kind of why I finished that first because I loved it so much. I just kept eating before I even continued with the rest of the food. And the chakalaka, the vegan option, I feel like it might be one of the best vegan options that they have here in terms of quick service at Disneyland Paris. I, I just like the fact that it doesn't contain fake meat. Now, there's anything wrong with fake meat and some vegans love fake meat obviously I'm not even vegan right but I know I have a friend for instance who's not the biggest fan of impossible meats or fake meats the reason she turned vegan is because she doesn't like the texture of meat so it doesn't make sense for her to try things that are not meat but then feel like meat so something like this would be phenomenal for her and it tastes lovely too really good so if I had to rank everything so far from the four main courses that I've had I feel like I might probably put the chicken first the chicken was delicious the thighs were really lovely the rice is nice then second I'd probably put the chakalaka which I'm gonna continue eating don't you worry then third would probably be uh, I mean the fish was nice the sauce was nice it's literally just tomato based sauce though so I don't know I wish the flavor on this one was better because I had high hopes for this I like fish but yeah this didn't it was just quite bland for me personally and like I said if I wanted tomato flavor things I wouldn't come here I'd go somewhere else but so yeah I think I'd put this the the pulled beef wrap number three just because the sweet potatoes to be honest the sweet potato fries are pretty good and it's just nice that they have something different here and then last but not least would be the fish with the sauce the vegetable it's like, i think it's like it says fish and vegetables in a sauce i don't even know what the sauce is they don't tell you but i tasted it and it tasted of tomato to me so there you go this is all my meals that i had at the moment we do have dessert as well which is some plantains that the cast member told me were also released today on the menu come with nutella so i'm gonna try those with the kids actually from Mummy or Ford Disney so when they come back with their food and they have it we're gonna have some desserts together and let you know our verdict but for now I can say that even just with the chicken and the chakalaka alone Hakuna Matata as a restaurant as a quick service restaurant to be more precise has kind of upped this game a little bit and I kind of prefer it a bit more now but like just because of the chicken and the chakalaka I might come to this restaurant more often because like I said before this new menu I very rarely came here even though a lot of people love it and so many people love those chicken strips or chicken nuggets I just never understood the hype for them because like I said you can get chicken nuggets everywhere why would you come to Hakuna Matata for those and honestly I tasted them a few times they were quite bland and also quite dry so I just never got the hype for those the kebab wrap used to be quite good this new pulled beef wrap not quite as good but I like the sweet potatoes um, the other dishes are all very good apart from the fish if they changed the sauce and made it a bit more interesting I might try that sauce uh, and the fish uh, dish again but two dishes out of four being really good that's good well done for a quick service restaurant here at Disneyland Paris oh yeah we're in the Timon section by the way I forgot to mention because it was quite chaotic when I first ordered and the lovely cast members brought over my food but there you go this is what the Timon section is like the Puma section is very similar in terms of decor um, just the seating layout might be a bit different but yeah quite a lot of space actually and the time of filming it is currently now 6 30 p.m. so not too busy good time to come joined by the lovely Ree from Mummy of Four does Disney! Hello! <laughs> How good to have her on the channel again. Phenomenal end. 
we're matching. Twinning we are all winning. matching. Twinning is winning. We did not do this on purpose. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> it just happened to be the case. I, I literally was scrolling um, through uh, Instagram, Instagram earlier today. I put a like, photo up. Are you wearing that today? Because and then I sent back a picture like, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, we need to like, we definitely need to take a photo. Not only meet up, but definitely to get a photo as well. We do, which we're amazing. Actually need to do. Even no, yeah, dark. yeah dark. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make so it work. I have a light. The kids are also wearing this <laughs> food as yeah. well. <laughs> so we're what's the ha, quad, quadret? Quadretting? Twinning? Yeah. Four of us. There'll be Will as well. So will five, five lets. Yeah. You'll see Will in a second. Yeah, Daddy Four is is great. What does he want to do with Jersey? That's that's as Disney as it gets. So that's as Which is fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, and yeah, you guys are waiting for your food at Hakuna. You've they've ordered more or less everything as yeah. well. Make sure you check out their vlog once it's out. Oh, everyone's coming. Daddy oh, Four and Will are coming back. as well. The food is here. The food is here. Like We've, I said, go on. I've actually been looking at. I chose from what you were eating. <laughs> we walked in. And I was like, oh, that looks good. Yeah, fair, that fair. Looks good. So yeah, yeah we're just gonna enjoy, catch up, enjoy some time, and then at the end we'll try the plantains. I think yeah. that's what they are anyway. We'll see. I'm not sure how good. <laughs> no, I know. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, done. I thought I'd just quickly show you the kids menu as well. So you can get some chicken nuggets, some you can get the fries on its own. It comes with the chill child children's menu, child's menu, and the wrap as well. It's a smaller portion, but again, it's the same kind of food, just with sweet potato fries again. And then is that a salad that you got, Ree? Yeah, this is the chicken salad. Nice. So, yeah, it looks really good, good actually. Yeah. I wonder if the chicken's hot or cold though. Oh, what would you prefer, hot? I think I'd like hot chicken. Yeah, same, same. <laughs> like hot chicken on a cold salad. Is cool. that too much to ask? No. <laughs> we'll see. You're gonna have to let us know. Come on, let's have a look at these horrible plantains. So it's dessert time. Dessert time. Uh, the plantains, I think. <laughs> with, I'm not um, sure about this. You know. I think initially they came hot, but because I had obviously <laughs> <laughs> loads of things beforehand. Ago. <laughs> um, gonna be hanging. This is what they look like. Kind of, you can hopefully see. You can see it here as well. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so these are new desserts. <laughs> um, comes with a um, little jar of this. Nutella. Nutella. So, would anybody like to be the first one to try one? I will. Yes. Okay, go on. Go on, kiddos. Oh, yeah, go on. Bella. Zara, uh, you don't want one? Okay. Wise, eyes wide. Oh, okay. Oh, Will likes it. Is it good? Once, oh, I'm excited about once this. Finished chewing. Okay. Nothing. I'm not the biggest fan of plantain generally, but we'll give it a go. Will seems to like it. Is it like banana? No, it's hard. But sweeter. It's all right. It's quite nice, actually. What do you think, Bella? It's hard. It's yeah. hard. Okay. I like it, but I don't like it. Okay. She likes it, but she doesn't like Zaza. it. She you didn't try. You didn't try. I don't like um, it. It's, it's, it's good. It's different and I like the fact that they've got a different kind of dessert now here. They never used to have anything specific here, like special to this restaurant in terms of desserts. Now they actually have something. And plantains, we may not be the biggest fans of them. Obviously Will likes them. And I actually think it's quite nice as well. Those of sugar on it. And if you put it, they put it in Nutella, it might even be better. And, and Rhea is just And I am just filming you so I don't have to try it. I can just be like what she said. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but you've not tried one yet, have you yet? You should go on, please. There's, there's a couple left. Oh yeah, should you want to open up the Nutella, please? I do, I do want to open up the Nutella. <laughs> the Nutella has been opened. There we go. Well, I'll just take a little bit. Okay, there you go. This is my plantain with the Nutella. We're going to try it now with the Nutella instead of plain. What do you think, Bella? Did it make much of a difference, or with the Nutella? Why does it taste a bit better? So Not it's like, yeah. it's like um, this now. Okay, so it's a little bit better than it was before. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the Nutella now. I agree with Bella. It's a little better, but it's still not fantastic. It's all right. Anyway, I am now leaving Akuna Matata after a lovely meal. It has gotten dark now. Very dark. It's uh, what is the time? 7.30 p.m. I spent a little bit of time in there. It was actually really lovely to catch up with Mummy of Four Disney and their lovely family as well. Um, look at the lovely castle there behind me. But my thoughts on Akuna Matata, the new menu. As I mentioned earlier, half of it I think is really good. The chicken I really liked. It does have bones in it because the chicken dies. So if you don't, if, you, if you're not a big fan of chicken on the bone, then you might not enjoy the chicken. So that's something to definitely be aware of. I understand not everyone enjoys chicken thighs, but for me, it worked. I loved it. And then the vegan option I thought was delicious. Not the best vegan food I've ever had, but it was really nice. It's something that I've not seen Disneyland Paris do so far. So definitely a good addition. 
the fish was nice don't get me wrong it was nice it's just I was hoping for a bit more from it I didn't want it to taste just like a tomato a sauce I wanted I don't know I wanted a bit more flavor with it so that was my only disappointment really and then the wrap was okay the sweet potato fries were lovely really enjoyed those and you can actually get the sweet potato fries on their own as well as you saw if you get the children's menu you can get it with those or you can I think you can get them a la carte as well just like a little side portion of um, sweet potato fries if that's what you want but yeah all in all I feel like it's definitely an improvement from what they used to have at Hakuna Matata I know a lot of people are probably going to be missing the chicken strips and also the Hakuna fries that they used to do there I don't think they've missed that much personally I feel like there's so many places as I said where you can get yourself french fries and chicken it might not be the exact same as what they used to offer here at Hakuna Matata but it's still going to be the same food so personally I feel like it's a good thing that like, they changed the menu when I like the new menu I hope they improve it more and more as time goes on and maybe even add another option I don't know who knows but at the moment it's definitely a thumbs up from me I feel like they've done a good job and I feel like with this new menu I might be visiting Hakuna Matata a bit more often so that is it though I look very very shiny <laughs> Reese let me borrow her light for this last section of the vlog so thank you so much Reese, for making this possible this lovely lit uh, situation right now in the evening but yeah you can see we're gonna have a there behind me the castle there let me know in the comments down below if you're coming to Disneyland Paris in the next few months and you come to Hakuna Matata and try one of the items from the new menu I'd love to hear your thoughts let me know what your favorite thing was that you get and also yeah are you happy about this new change do you think you're gonna miss what they used to have before like I said, my personal opinion is that it's a good thing and I hope they keep changing menus and making them even better. But that is it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.